Hi guys, welcome to our video of how to calculate the payback method. I'm sorry about my voice, but I have a really bad call, but I still I wanted to make this video. So I hope you enjoy it. So how do we do this? First of all, what is the payback? The payback it is a capital budgeting method to calculate how long an investment will be payback. Let's say that we have an investment of $25,000. And we want to figure it out when this money is going to be paid back. Now, let's assume that in over the years, we're going to be getting the following cash flows, $4,500, $6,500, and so on. So how do I calculate the payback? Very easy. The first thing we need to do is to figure it out. What is the balance every year? As you can see here, year one, we got $4,500. Since we recovered that investment, my balance now is going to be $20,500. How do I get this? Well, when I subtract the investment and, um, with the amount that I just received, you're going to get the balance. The second year, I received $6,500. Now, this is my new balance. I do this until I get a positive value. Now, this is very tricky because, look, on year four, I, I still have $3,000 that are negative in my balance. However, in year five, we're going to be getting some money back. It is not $3,000. We're actually going to be getting a little bit more than that. So look what I do. Go where the um, value is negative, and that's going to be four years. And then to figure it out that portion of the time where you got your payback, you're going to do 3000 over 5000 And that's going to give you your payback of four years, 0. 0.6. So it's 4.6 years. Let's do another example. Now, Let's say that you have $10,000 to um, do the best invention, which is uh, how to cure uh, cold medicine. I will definitely buy that today. <laughs> so the first year you get $4,500. Again, you do your balance. But look, on the second year, it seems like you already got your investment since this is a great invention. So that means that my payback is going to be one year, and then I do the difference, 5,500 over 6,500. That's going to give you the little portion of the time. And that's it. This is how easy it is. Now, now let's not forget, the payback is the easiest method to calculate, but it does not consider the time value of money. So this is just basically like a quick tool just to figure it out when you're going to get your money back. However, remember, uh, however, just remember that the net present value is the best um, capital budget and decision method. And that's it. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Uh, we have the net present value, internal return, and all that. And also, thanks so much for learning.